NASA is dealing with the long-range problem at the Kennedy Space Center. After Friday's successful test of the Orion spacecraft, the space agency could face challenges to future space launches. Orion's next flight in a couple of years will be begin just north of Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The Apollo moon missions began there, and they're worth 135 shuttle launches. But climate change now threatens the vital launch pads, as Vicente Arenas explains. All engine running. Liftoff. From the moonshot to the space shuttle. The final liftoff of Atlantis. Launch pads 39A and 39B have been the starting point for American manned spaceflight. The Atlantic Ocean has served as a safety barrier, but now it's threatening launch infrastructure. Since 2003, nearly 100 feet of beach next to the launch pads have been lost. The big concrete block used to actually be sitting on top of the sand. That's how much erosion we've had over the years. Nancy Bray is director of operations at the Kennedy Space Center. So the edge of the beach now is only about 200 yards away from the launch pad. Exactly. The erosion problem became clear two years ago when Hurricane Sandy's waves washed all the way over this abandoned railroad track. Satellite images show where the beach was before the storm and after. When the dunes were taken out during Hurricane Sandy, it moved back about 20 yards. University of Florida geologist Peter Adams and John Jaeger have spent the last five years studying the beach. There's been a change in the way the waves actually come into the shoreline, and that's a function of climate change. The waves have gotten bigger, and the angle they come in from has changed. And that now means that there are parts of the shoreline that are hit by big waves that weren't in the past. If you take out the dune, it's like opening the door for smaller storms to go right in and do some damage that they couldn't do before the dune was taken out. The two launch pads haven't been used since the retirement of the shuttle program, but one's been leased to SpaceX to fly astronauts to the International Space Station. The other will support future NASA Orion missions to Mars. If we have too much washover, then it could impact those launch pads. Do you think you might have to move them because of the erosion? Although that would be an incredible yeah, that task. That would be an incredible and incredibly expensive task, sure. and that's what we're trying to prevent. At its peak, it's about 15 feet high. To protect them, NASA is counting on a new $2.8 million mile-long dune. Three more are planned. NASA smarts put man into space. Ingenuity will also be needed to deal with the forces here on Earth. And NASA says it will be rebuilding the dunes over the next several years. Vicente, do, do the hurricanes that pass down there, do they actually have to be close to shore to impact the shoreline and the launch path? What's interesting here is that a hurricane doesn't have to make a direct hit. It can be hundreds of miles offshore. For instance, Sandy was 200 miles offshore, but the waves that the storm generates ultimately do impact the shore, even though it's way offshore. It must be interesting to see how they measure the waves. How come we didn't get the red running shoes? <laughs> yeah, no, the red running <laughs> shoes. You know, I was walking in the sand and I I need some comfortable shoes. Sense. Yeah, no, they were very comfortable. <laughs> Thank you, Vicente.